In 1895, a village was carved out of the sand hills of North Carolina. A retreat for those who longed to escape the cold New England winters. A sanctuary from the hectic pace of the everyday. A place with sunny skies, mild temperatures, and fresh pine-scented air. Where time slows down and church bells chime every hour on the hour. Where the pines whisper of legends past and where a good long walk with friends never gets old. Pinehurst was founded by James Walker Tufts, who made his fortune by inventing the soda fountain. He purchased 6,000 acres that had been stripped of its timber for just $1 per acre and commissioned Frederick Law Olmsted, the father of Central Park, to design a New England-style walking village that Tufts would call Pinehurst. The resort's first hotel, the Holly Inn, welcomed Pinehurst's first guests on New Year's Eve of 1895, and 32 quaint cottages were built for those who wished to stay the season. Soon, Tufts' wellness retreat had become widely known and a second hotel, the Stately Carolina, was built in 1901. Initially, Pinehurst guests amused themselves with dancing, theater, equestrian events, fox hunting, and other outdoor activities. But soon guests took to hitting balls with sticks in an adjacent cow pasture. When an angry farmer complained to Tufts that his guests were frightening his dairy cows, Tufts built nine holes, and golf was born in Pinehurst. In 1900, Tufts hired Scotsman Donald Ross as Pinehurst's first golf professional. Ross went on to build four courses, including Pinehurst No. 2, widely known as his greatest masterpiece. In the early 1900s, Ross and James Tufts opened Pinehurst's first clubhouse and turned Pinehurst into the first resort in the world to have 72 holes of golf. Early golf at Pinehurst wasn't just a game for men. Women were just as active and perhaps even more competitive. In 1901, women competed against men in the first North and South Championship, which today remains the longest consecutively running amateur championship in the United States. The Women's North and South Amateur followed in 1903 and has been played every year since. The 1936 PGA Championship kicked off a heyday for the resort. World War II brought General George C. Marshall and band leader Glenn Miller to Pinehurst. Golfers like Sam Snead, Arnold Palmer, Harvey Ward, and Ben Hogan were regulars at the resort. Snead won three North and South Opens. Palmer practiced here as a student at Wake Forest University. And in 1940, Ben Hogan made history with his first win after seven years on the Pro Tour. In 1951, the eyes of the world were on Pinehurst as America defeated Great Britain and Ireland in the Ryder Cup. In 1999, Payne Stewart won the first U.S. Open at Pinehurst in a legendary fashion. In 2014, the men's and women's U.S. Opens were held in back-to-back -back weeks a first in the history of golf. And in 2024, Pinehurst will host its fourth U.S. Open Championship. The past century has taken Pinehurst from its beginnings as a wellness retreat to America's home of golf. Nine courses plus a short course make Pinehurst the largest golf resort in America. And while much has changed over the years, the spirit of Pinehurst remains the same. 
The historic hotels are as welcoming as they were when the first guests arrived in 1895. Sandy paths still invite you to explore the charming village. And the pine-scented air still calls you to enjoy outdoor pursuits as it did for guests a century ago. This is Pinehurst, as timeless as the game that inspired it.